Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Cobb Diaries. Here I am just lunging Polly using my bareback pad as a surcingle. And you can see she's a little bit tense at the moment, a little bit stiff in the neck. This is the uh, difficult rain for her. And here in the trot, you can see she's actually calmed down a little bit, letting her neck stretch out a little bit. Not much, but just better than she was in the walk. With Polly, everything needs to be done at speed. That's just the way she likes it. And you can see a lovely trot from her. changing the rain and into trot again See her head has gone down considerably. And her head's come up a little bit there, and then that's going to drop. Yeah. And you can see she exhaled there, loud snort. Finished off, finished up over some poles. And she did pretty well in this session. She was a little bit tense, but she worked lovely. And over time, her tension will improve. Now I'm schooling Pandora here. Oh, I'm getting on. And Pandora was a little bit apprehensive today. And you will see in a moment, she has a little bit of an episode. Now, just out of shot, I <laughs> she had a proper epi. 
um, just out of shot I have some electric fencing stakes just in the middle of the paddock in a line um, basically to mark out the middle of the paddock so that one side is plain or it's just got poles and the other side's got jumps and the previous day my sister had actually left her hoodie hung on one of those stakes and Pandora did not like the look of it at all whatsoever as you can see so I just get off, lead her over to it, show her that it's not going to eat her and that she is being extremely melodramatic. she sniffed it she was perfectly fine she was like oh oh yeah no worries so, now we can actually start the session I'm riding her here in my treeless saddle and my fitless bridle She's got very um, high flight reflex, if that's what you could call it. So I like to warm her up as long as possible in the walk, um, as long as she needs. I don't like to push her into things that her brain isn't mentally ready for. Especially before we go into trot work, because trot isn't her natural gait, I'd say her natural gait is, is canter, um, she, and with such a short bodied pony as well, she's not very good at bending, um, and yeah trot is just not her preferred gait, and she does get very very tense in the trot, she will either be super super slow and jerky trot, or she'll be trotting really really fast and wanting to canter so finding that balance can be quite difficult with her especially then when you're taking corners into consideration and bending here she's got quite a forward trot but it's not a zooming off trot that's a nice trot for her and on this particular occasion, she did extremely well. Her head's not up in the air like a giraffe, which is always pleasant. And here we're coming across the middle of the school. You can't really see, but there's poles on the floor there. She just tripped over the first one. And that's another thing she can rush with is poles. So I can't remember if I asked for that halt, but I wasn't going to push her forward, just give her a load of praise, tell her she's a good girl, and then I changed the rain. And you can see she looks quite pleased with herself, she's, she knows she's done something good there. Lots of positive reinforcement. See, she's a little bit apprehensive to trot there. She's doing that little slow trot. By the time we come up here, she's, she's doing a nice trot. Steady, but it's a nice trot. And then here, the lovely trot. Oh, she went back to a walk. Kicked her on through. Now, just let her pull down. This is side she struggles with. Um, she did very very well bending around the corners actually but on this particular day. And now we're going over the poles and just going different directions after the poles. Not oh, 
this time I stopped and praised her. You can see we went around the same way this time. And this time I wanted her to keep her going. She did nicely and we went back around the same way. This time I changed direction. Yeah. That one was really nice. that was the end of the session I was extremely impressed with her I think the session it's in itself was only 25 minutes um, because she did so well now we are hacking out Myrna in her halter and we have mini me on poppy horses get really apprehensive going over the bridge because people jump off as you can see there's kids there waiting to jump off the bridge but some some people don't wait and that's children and adults um, which can be quite frustrating oh, now here we have this big bull and he was really gorgeous and I had to get a picture of him um, he doesn't look very big there but he was absolutely massive we could put fly rugs back on again and for it to be summer and having a trot here we tried to trot side by side but Poppy's only got little legs she's only little and Mona's obviously quite a big girl there we go and Poppy's actually cantering now <laughs> well I think I keep Mona trotting here because doesn't hurt Myrna just to trot and do a nice long extended trot just to get her muscles moving because she's not going to get left behind. I do love this ride, this is probably one of my favourite rides. Lately, Myrna's been a bit slower, not wanting to counter too far. After that previous clip, we just went back to a trot. Uh, here's another nice long straight, and I got my sister to go in front just to keep Myrna going, um, because she literally she just would counter two or three strides and then come back to trot, counter two or three tries, come back to trot, which was really irritating. Um, so I let her trot here for a bit 
and get her back into a canter. And now on the way back home, walking down the hill. Again, on the way back, the bull is still where we left him, and there was loads of ponies with their little baby foals, which was super cute. And now, going back across the river because there wasn't that many people down there. And Poppy isn't always the best to get to go back in the water, so Ooh, she was pretty good that day. I think her sliding down helped a little bit, but Myrna loves the water, and it did him good to, on this day because, I don't know if you can tell by Myrna's neck, but it was quite a hot day, and she had sweated, but not too much. Oh, Aurora nearly fell off there, because Poppy stopped, but these are, we were jumping these. first one's the biggest one, and for whatever reason Poppy wanted to go sideways over them, but we only did well, and I screamed there, <laughs> and uh, Myrna went quite fast, because I wasn't, we weren't uh, jumping at the same time, <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, we managed to stop, and they didn't just go across the road and go to home, which was always good. But that is the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please smash that like button and subscribe button and hit the bell button if you want to know when I upload. Also, please comment me down below what you would like to see, what I could do to improve and what you liked about the video. So thank you very much, guys. Stay safe. Love you all. Bye bye.